Life and times of Chief Sir Siriakus Chi, the Ogwatu, Uguakonobi of Ogodoku. Early years. Is it side to side? life. 80 years ago, Chief Sir Siriakus Chi, the Ogwatu, was born into the family of late Mazi, women of Ogwatu, and Mrs. Goma Rose Ogwatu, in the SAC Kindred, Umu Major Village. In Obuduku, the data not local government area, Imo State. He was the seventh in line of his mother's children who survived to adulthood. Tadi attended primary school in Obuduku. He was one of the best students during his school days and was awarded with a secondary school scholarship after primary school. But he could not continue with the scholarship since his parents could not afford the financial commitment attached to the scholarship. Living home. Determined to succeed. In 1961, Daddy left home to Lagos as a teenager to improve his life, further his education, and begin his career. Shortly after arriving in Lagos, he was recruited into the Nigerian police force in January 1972 and was trained in Southern Police College, Ikeja, where he became one of the best of officers who passed out of the college that year. Career life and achievements. After obtaining his police training at Police College Ikeja, Daddy began his career life as a police officer in Ikoi. He was posted to Ikoi Police Division and was attached to Federal Minister of Justice, Ikoi, Lagos. As an oddly to Justice B.A. Adedipe, Director of Public Prosecutions, from 1962 to 1964. He was received, he received a letter of commendation and recommendation from the judge due to his commitment, hard work, and dedication. He continued with his, with his police career until after the war in 1970, when Daddy and many police officers from Southeast were relieved of their jobs. Due to the zeal and the interest he had in education, Daddy enrolled for his secondary education, studied and obtained his London GCE in flying colors. In flying colors, while he was working as a police officer. Therefore, he attended, and thereafter, he attended International PSA Training College, where he received a first position award in the whole of West Africa and its sub-region. He also held a diploma in law. After African Daddy, Daddy went back to Lagos after the war to continue his life and began a new career. He worked in USC and also in Nigerian Middle East in 1981, where he rose to the level of security manager. After leaving Nigerian Brewers, he established Sisteno Industrial Security Limited a, and Sisteno Business Security Consultancy Services. <clears throat> private security company, it was a private security company involved in guard services, training and consultancy. His company training and consultancy services span through the length and breadth of Nigeria providing security training services to international, national and private companies and institutions. He was a member of many professional associations, some of which yes. are a member of Institute of Professional Investigators, member International Professional Security Association, member American Society for Industrial Security, member of Institute of Industrial Security. His marriage, Daddy got married to his sweetheart, Mabel Chugo Ozara, few months after the war. Their marriage took place in Oboduku, their fifth year golden jubilee marriage anniversary was celebrated in December 2019. At St. Mary's Catholic Church, Oboduku, the marriage is blessed, is blessed with children and grandchildren. Community leadership and social life. Being one of the first people to leave his village in, to leave his village to Lagos, Daddy became exposed and experienced in modern way of life. He used his experience, education, and wealth of wisdom 
to impact on the life and development of the people of his village and community. He was the chairman of Obodukuta Union, a Lagos branch, in the late 70s and early 80s, and was, and was recognized and honored as a patron by the branch. Our home in Lagos then was home to every Umumeja and Obodugu indigenous. Daddy was a man who was passionate about the life and development of the people of his people, kindred, Umumeja and Obodugu people in general. He encouraged and supported many people to, to embrace education. He instituted education endowment fund around 1977 to 1978 when he was the chairman of his Sipo Improvement Union. Many people in our kindred gained from the Education Endowment Fund. Notable among them was the encouragement, mention, mentoring, encouragement, mentoring, and full support. He accorded one of the first. He accorded one of the first graduates in the village and in the community, Chief Professor Marcellus. You, Ojo, he organized and established an association for students in secondary school in our kindred to encourage them to share ideas and knowledge that will help them to develop educationally. In recognition for his achievements and selfless contribution to economic, social and cultural, political development of Oguruku community, he was honored with the chieftaincy title of Uguagbon Obi of Oguruku by His Royal Highness, is the Edmund Alisio Bidim. Dim Abakuribe Mbachu II, the second, will be of Obuduku in August 1994. He was elected the Secretary General of Obuduku Town Union at the same time Chief Joe Ume was elected President General from 1989 to 1994. He served the Obuduku community to the best of his ability by handling many cases bordering on development and social life. He traveled a lot to ensure the success and progress of the town union during his tenure. Christian life and achievements. Daddy was a devout and practical Christian. He lived a life worthy of emulation. He encouraged and led his family in daily prayers and directed them in Catholic faith. His Catholic life and teaching impacted positively on his children and on his children's lives. He ensured that his children embraced Christianity and Catholic doctrines. His practical Christianity, his practical Christian life attracted the Catholic Church and this led to the Catholic Diocese of Olu to recognize and confer Ezinna and Ezinne title on him and his wife respectively on May, 20, May 2, 2016. The Catholic Church further recognized his Christian life and activities by initiating him into the order of the Knights of St. Mulumba, Nigeria. Daddy was one of the founders of St. Matthew's Catholic Church, Amokoko, Apapa, Lagos, in 1972. He played a very important role in the establishment of St. Jude Society in the church and was also a life patron of the society. He was vice chairman of the parish pastoral council and the first chairman of the harvest committee of the church and was a patron of Catholic youth movement of the church. He was also honored as a patron of Guild of St. Anthony of Padua. Mm. Nigeria. Obodoku Council was founded in 1973. And his wife sponsored many marriages within and outside of Odoku. Maxims and legacies. Those who knew Daddy knew that it was also it was always a rewarding and enriching experience to talk and converse with him. As a man of great wisdom and insight, he always handled issues and issues and serious matters with the professionalism. The professionalism and forthrightness of a caring and dedicated leader. Many people within and outside of Buruku consulted him so on so many issues and he strived to provide solution to them. He was a believer in giving people the opportunity to be great. Daddy's favorite maxim was 
Zobuna, then when he came, he put Rasagara, Dagunania, Okushike. That implies that leaders must have a listening ear and have wisdom to abide by the words of reason. Even if it is at variance with his personal decision, a great piece of advice. Daddy, you were a man of integrity, humility, and good and, and God fearing. You believe in justice, equity, fairness, peace, and progress of our people. Life in retirement. In 2016, Daddy left Lagos and relocated to Owere, Emo State, and lived a fulfilled life in retirement. He was active in Holy Trinity Catholic Church, New Owere. He was an active member of Catholic Men's Organization of the Church. He was involved in the forming of Landlords Association, Landlords and Tenants Association of the area where he lived. The proximity of the church of the of Owere to the village offered him the opportunity to travel to a village to attend to important family and community events and matters frequently. Daddy lived a rewarding and fulfilled life. The God bless his soul and grants him eternal rest in his person. Daddy, we miss you. We love you. But God loves you more. Continue to rest in peace. Adieu, Daddy. Adieu. Adieu. Great icon.